the galaxy is a kind of an organism. You can think of it as a fractal resonance with a cell. The galaxy has a nucleus, a very dense material where very mysterious processes are going on. Then it has a cytoplasmic envelope of stars and gas clouds that surround that core. And then it is an individual, very distinctly defined by the vast emptiness that lies between it and the next galaxy. Uh, the mushroom said to me once, it said, this is what it's like when a species prepares to depart for the stars. You don't depart for the stars under calm and orderly conditions. It's a fire in a madhouse. And that's what we have, the fire in the madhouse at the end of time. This is what it's like when a species prepares to move on to the next dimension. The entire destiny of all life on the planet is tied up in this. We are not acting for ourselves or from ourselves. We are, we happen to be the point species on a transformation that will affect every living organism on this planet at its conclusion. Well, the great watershed difference between the archaic understanding and what is called scientific materialism is the archaic mind understood in fact, perceived that nature is conscious, nature is alive, nature is an organism full of intent. Uh, the goal of the archaic mind is to connect with, communicate with, and align itself to this greater Gaian holism, which is sometimes called nature, the great spirit, the realm of the ancestors. But this is what the archaic uh, mind understood and was comfortable with. And in fact, it is true. Our own uh, decision to view the universe as dead, as inanimate, as unintelligent, allowed us, permitted us to dissect it, use it, and, uh, and uh, deny its validity outside of human purpose. Now the consequences of living like that is coming back to haunt us. You know, we have almost destroyed our home. We have almost cut the earth from beneath our own feet. So this impulse toward the Gylanic and the, and the archaic is uh, a survival instinct at this point. We must give uh, reverence and credence to nature and nature's methods because no other methods will allow us to work our way out of the present mess we're in. Uh, high temperature, high energy resource extraction, commodification, uh, mega agriculture, we're at the end of the rope for these things. So the archaic holds answers, but it only holds answers if we are willing to think of the universe as a living, intelligent entity in, with which we are in partnership, not set against, but that in fact we are a part of uh, a morphogenetic intent and an unfolding reality that is larger than human understanding. Imagine, larger than human understanding. <laughs>